guys welcome to brains and the beat here on youtube and if you're new please like comment share and subscribe to your girl because you never know when i'll upload most of the time i try to upload in the morning but you never know because my son does whatever he wants to do and i can only upload when he allows me so like comment share hit that notification bell to keep up to date and if you're oldie but goodie thank you for staying tuned thank you for staying locked to your girl's channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about this 18 year old u.s resident that is actually a jamaican that went home that is now missing and i know a lot of jamaican parents have that lives overseas always want their children to go back home and make sure that they stay intact and in tune with their culture but stuff like this is very concerning especially for parents it says 18 year old Siobhan Wignall of Woody Way, Bami, Connecticut, USA and Lime Hall in St. Anne have been missing since Monday, October 15th. He is of dark complexion, slim built and is about 180 centimeters, 5 feet 11 inches tall. Reports from the St. Anne's Bay Police Station are that Wignall Hall was last seen at home in Lime Hall at about 5 p.m. wearing a brown and white t-shirt, brown shorts, and a pair of blue slippers. All efforts to contact him since then have been unsuccessful. Anyone knowing his whereabouts of Siobhan Wignall is being asked to contact the St. Anne's Bay Police Station at 876-972-2211. The police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station so this boy went to jamaica i guess on vacation on holiday or just to just spend some time with his family and now he has turned up missing me personally i wanted my son to grow up in jamaica actually go to school in jamaica especially very young because i wanted him to have that culture i wanted him to know how to chat rob and patwa i'm very country because i am very country and people say me talk bad and i love it okay that just gives me personality gives me character and i wanted my son to be just like that but with stuff like this happening in jamaica it's a no and his dad definitely wouldn't allow it the only way that would happen is if we move back to jamaica semi-permanently and we have to be there every day to see him after school and all all, all of that and that definitely wouldn't happen no anyways but he just went to Jamaica. So now that he's missing, I'm sure his parents are in a frenzy. I'm sure his parents are in a panic. Especially if they're in the United States and they find out that his their kid or is in Jamaica and is missing. I'm sure they're going out their rotted mind. Because I would definitely be with the state that Jamaica is in as far as crime and violence is concerned. Like your wildest imagination as far as your child can come true so i hope that this little boy is actually their country hideout within y'all chilling they smoke some weed drink some alcohol living his best life but with the state that jamaica is in i fear the worst because if all efforts to contact him has been successful I definitely definitely fear the worst I don't know if he got mixed up into some foolishness and they took him out took him away for it them took him away I want to run some money from his family because they he messed up their money or something because a lot of times uh, some of these youngsters what they do is these scammers scam these people and somebody from over here the US I'm talking about has to get the money and take it to Jamaica and they make that trip to Jamaica and they give the people their money and they get a share so I don't know if that's what happened and they he messed up somebody's money or what it is or if somebody just saw him randomly and because you know that they say they can find or know um, overseas people from a mile away I don't know if he just got caught up 
in the wrong place at the wrong time i don't know what it is but quite frankly i hope that they find him and they find him unharmed and unscathed but for me personally i am expecting the worst especially with the way jamaica is and the way that jamaica is going it's not only no like nobody cares about anybody nobody loves anybody enough to give them a blight like that don't happen a yard anymore so i hope this boy comes home safe i hope that nothing is happening to him i hope him in their country with one girl and the smoke ganja and the drink and just living in best life and don't want to be bothered but comment what you think in the comment section happened to him how he just disappeared and nobody's seen him like if you know where this boy is please say something if it's even to leave a anonymous tip just give his parents his family a peace of mind because i can't imagine as a parent going through something like this comment in the comment section don't forget to like comment share subscribe and tell your auntie your uncle your cousins about the channel and i'll see you in the next video deuces